This is a QR code, or quick response code. It's a simple 2D image which can pass information such as a short message or a web address to a mobile device faster than the owner can try to type it in. QR codes have started to appear on everything from bus shelters and magazines to even drinks cans. They're very popular because they're so simple to use. In the classroom there are quite a few possibilities. You could have a treasure hunt with students moving from one clue to the next. Each QR code contain a riddle as the message and that, when they solve that riddle that gives them the next location. Or how about linking to a section of a website? This was done really well in the biome. Students have built a website in Weebly with each page being about a different plant. The group then placed QR codes next to those plants which was a link back to their specific web page. Another possibility is that you could use QR codes as part of a carousel in the classroom. Get the students to move from station to station once an activity is completed. We used them in this way when we did some extended training with the Year 7s on the Galaxy Tabs. Each tutorial was on YouTube and linked to by the QR codes. To scan in a QR code, it's really simple. We use, or well, we recommend using, Barcode Scanner. It's an app we've linked to from the Frog Widget Store. All you need to do is simply run the app, hold it over the QR code, and it automatically picks up the address or the message that you want to pass on. You can even click it, and it takes you straight to that web address in the browser. To make a QR code, there are two easy options. Option one, there's a QR code built into the blog pages. Simply type in a web address in the link embed section and click add post and you get a little QR button on the main page, you just click it and there you go, simple quick QR code. Option two, I quite like to use the website Kawa, which is here. It's a really easy way of creating QR codes. Simply go to the website. enter in the address or paste it or you could always use a text message you can even put a phone number or an SMS and click the generate for free button there you go you can then right click on this image and choose save picture as and then you can put it in a word document in a PDF whatever you needed to if you wanted to print it out or obviously you could just save it and have it displayed on the screen